Good morning, 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 everybody. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. So for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Grace Amber. I come on different platforms whenever God gives me a word to share. I come on and I share it with you. Really quick this morning, happy Tuesday. I want to talk to you from the topic of a different standard, a different standard. What am I talking about today? And it's going to be really, really quick. So there are some of us as children of God who are looking at other people and we're trying to figure out why we can't do what they do, right? We are looking at some of the ways of other people in the world and we're saying, why ain't this working for me? So Craig, Boo Boo, Pookie, <laughs> Ray Ray, uh, Keith, uh, Kenneth, Thomas, all these different names, all these people have went to go and they applied for PPP loans. They didn't have no business. Pookie Hustle. Kenneth is a scammer. <laughs> he is a cyber scammer. Kenneth and Thomas and uh, Kristen, whoever these names you want to call, all of these people are able to do these things and it works for them. Pookie is a hustler, but yet he was able to get the PPP loan. He was able to line the application and it worked for him. He was able to get a PPP loan. But then poor you, here you are. You may not have 20 employees, but you got one in some kind of way. You didn't get it. Why is it that Boo Boo can go out there and hustle and make all this money and nobody ever bothers him? You've been watching Boo Boo hustling for 10 years and he ain't never been popped. And then you decide... Well, Lord, I'm a child of God, but, you know, I got bills, so <laughs> I'm just going to go out here and try to make a little bit of money, make a little change, right? And so you go out there and try to do what Boo Boo does and Pookie, and then the first the second time that you do it, you get popped, the law finds you, you get locked up, and next thing you know, you're in the mug shots and you're on the docket. Second time trying to get out here and hustle and trying to maneuver in the streets like Pookie and Ray Ray, right? But you don't get the same result. Why is it that we as children of God cannot get the same results as the people of the world? I mean, you see uh, Eureka, y'all work in a strip club, and Eureka is able to go get some special clients after hours. She has some that she makes good money doing some strange things, doing something strange for a little bit of change. Eureka is able to get away with that, and she doesn't have any issues. And then here you come and you say, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get my toe wet, right? And then you get your toe wet. And the first time you try to take one of these special clients after hours to do something strange for a little bit of change, you get knocked off. Here is you in the middle of a sting and now you're on the news. Why is it that we as children of God don't get the same results as the people of the world? Thomas goes to the fish tables every day and he hits just about every day and he don't mean how to work because he is just hitting licks at the fish table he just every time he goes the thing goes off and he wins right and so you decide i'm gonna go try i want to go try i want to go see if i can get some money too i got bills too you go and what happens the police run up in there and they say this is an illegal operation and everybody go down why is it that it seems that there's a different standard for the children of god why is that? Why is it that Boo Boo can play the lottery and he keeps hitting the lottery and then you don't try, you decide you're going to try it too. And when you go, all you do is take L's. Why is it that we as children of God don't get the same results as the people in the world? The PPP loans work for Thomas. The PPP loans worked uh, for Buddy. <laughs> the PPP loans worked for Will and Bill and Thomas and everybody else. Uh, this one hits the licks on the fish table all the time. You have no luck. You try to do something a little crooked every now and again, and it doesn't work for you. Why doesn't it work for you? Because we as children of God are trying to go out into the world system. We are trying to go out and maneuver in the world, do the things that the people do in the world, and then we want the same result. But we have to live to a different standard because that doesn't apply to us. If you have, if you are a single woman with no kids and you decide I want some assistance from DSS and so I want some food stamps, I, I can use some of them WIC items. 
Can I get this kind of Medicaid too? I don't have kids, but can I get can I get these benefits, TANF and all this? Can I get all this stuff? Can I get it as a single woman with no kids? You go to DSS. You try to play the system. You want to get your handouts too because you are a taxpaying citizen, right? You want to get your handouts too, and then you go to DSS and you leave empty handed and you're saying, why didn't this work for me? Uh, my cousin, uh, Crystal, got five kids, and she come down here, and she gets all kind of assistance, and yet here I come. I pay taxes too. Just because I don't have kids, they're saying I'm not eligible for food stamps and I can go work. Well, Crystal can go work too. Why is it that it's not working for me? Because, honey, the system was not designed for you. You're trying to go and, 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 and reap the benefits of something in a system that doesn't even apply to you. You're not eligible, honey. You're not eligible to go to the fish tables because God has something different for you and he holds you to a different standard. You're not eligible to go to the fish tables and to get rich. Why? Because that is something that you know God is not pleased with. Why? Because you know that God has told you to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things that you're trying to get will be added unto you. You are not eligible to go and hustle. I know everybody else does it. I know that your friends can take these special uh, John Doe clients after hours, after y'all get off from the club. I know that, that, that she can do it and she can make money. But you as a child of God have a different standard. And so you're trying to go out here and maneuver in this world as though you are a person of the world. When in actuality, you are a child of God and God holds you to a different standard, a higher standard. And so you are trying to conform to the ways of the world when God has called you to be actually called out. God has called you to come out of the world. And yet here you are as a child of God. You're saying I'm chosen. I know that God has a call on my life. Okay, great. Well, then why are you then trying to go in the corner and sell dope? You know that that is not for you. That is the ways of the world. And God has told us to not be conformed to the ways of the world. God said we are in this world, but we are not of this world. And so, yes, it looks like everybody else can do it and get away with it. And yet when you go do it, you get popped and you're trying to understand why. It's because you're trying to play a game, but you're not eligible to play. You're trying to play a game and you're trying to be eligible for something that God has already told you this is not for you. So when you go and you try to go hustle why does bad things happen to you after the second time why because it was the system was not designed for you the world was not designed for you you are in this world but not of this world and so you're trying to go and do things like the people of the street and the people of the world uh, and, and what God wants you to understand is that those things are not for you you are like the single person with no kids who tries to go and get the food stamps the Medicaid and all this other stuff with no disability you're fine and you just want to go and cash in I know you see other people playing that game but that is not for you. You are you have a different standard. You are held to a different standard. And so where you go and you're trying to play the game of the world and then you lose every time and you're trying to figure out why, it's because you are trying to be conformed to the ways of this world. And God has told you that he provides for you. And if you will put your hand to the plow, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. If you will seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, he will add all these things to you. But you want to know why you can't go do the same thing that everybody else does. It's the system was not designed for you. Just like the public assistance system was not designed for single adults who are able-bodied and who have no kids, the public assistance system was not designed for you. It was designed for other people. And so when you go with your handout to get handouts, you don't get anything. It doesn't work that way for you because you are held to a different standard. God has something different for you. And the way for you to get provision is through God. And by seeking ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And if you will do that, he will add all these things to you that you're trying to get by the ways of the world. All these things God will add to you. If you will seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Let me give you the scripture. Very common uh, scripture. Romans 12, go down to the second verse. 
Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And I know you have heard that quoted different ways from the King James Version and different translations. Many of them will say, uh, do not be conformed to the ways, uh, I think it's the ways of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, you may have heard it say. Something like that. But the bottom line is, the patterns of this world won't work for you, child of God. You're going to try to go every time and every time you will lose because God is holding you to a different standard. He wants something different for you. No, you can't go hustle like Pookie on the corner. No, you can't go like Craig and get the PPP loan and lie and say you got 30 employees and here you are still free. No, it doesn't work that way for you. You can't say, I'm not going to work. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to go get public assistance. And you have no children. It's not designed for you. And the same way it's not designed for you is the same way that the patterns of this world and the ways of this world are not designed for you, child of God. God holds you to a different standard. And he has told you that he will provide for you, right? Yes, if you don't work, you don't eat. But these things that you see in the world of these people going to go play the fish tables and they hidden being playing the lottery every day sitting down there at the corner store scratching off tickets they hit every day and poor you you get off work every day and you try to go and you can't hit nothing you're just losing 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 why because you're trying to do things the way of the world and god has said that you're not of this world you are in this world but you are not of this world and so the things that you are seeking for yourself Instead of trying to seek those things using the ways of the world, instead what you should do is seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these other things will be added to you. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will for your life. I love you. Happy Tuesday. I'm Grace Amber. I hope that word blessed you. I will be right back on tomorrow with another word.